Hallelujah, now our Lord is. Hallelujah, now our Lord is good. Hallelujah, now our Lord is good. Is good to. Our Lord is good. Our Lord. Our Lord is good, our Lord is good, our Lord is good, oh, our Lord is good, our Lord is Praise the Lord. I welcome this morning to the Rapture Daily Devotional. We bless the Lord who has been so faithful to us bring you a message this morning from Psalm 65. Amen. And it's about uh, why you need to dedicate your life to praising God this year, 2024. Why you need to what? Why you need to dedicate your life to praising God this year, 2024. That is what we're going to read in Psalm 65. That is what Psalm 65 says. It actually brings out more reasons Amen. Let me see verse 11 quickly. It's clear this man. Verse 11. Somebody who is reading, come fast and read for me. Verse 11 of it. 65 verse 11. So I'm looking at why, why you need to dedicate your life. Amen. To praising God this year, 2024. Uh-huh. Come closer. I say come closer. Is that closer? You crown the year with your bounty and your cats overflow with abundance. Amen. You need to what? You crown the year. Your NLT, wonder, your own version says, with bountiful harvest. Is that not so? Yes. Amen. You crown your year with what? Bountiful. Come and stand here. Now they ask you to go. You can't crown your year with what? Bountiful. With bountiful harvest. Stand this place. So why you need to praise God this year? To dedicate yourself to praise because the Lord, what will God, what, what will God do for you? Okay. He has crowned your year already. Mm-hmm. It has been programmed. So as you Commit yourself to praises. You know what you do? You unlock what has been programmed to happen to your life. So it is with praises that we unlock the good thing that God has packaged for us for the year. The Bible says, He will not withhold anything good for His children. So, how do you unlock the goodness of the Lord this year? How do you unlock this crown of bounty? You crown their year with what? With bounty. How, how do you secure this, 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 this glorious and awesome deed of the Lord? The deed has been done. How do I key into this, 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 this abundant and bountiful harvest of the year? How do I make it a reality in my life? Because the year has been crowned with bounty of harvest already. But how do I experience it? That is where praises has to come in. Amen. You experience it by what? By what? By dedicating yourself to praises. Amen. What do you do to unlock it? One of the greatest things to do to unlock it is what? To dedicate yourself this year to praising God. Refuse to be moved by what is happening around you. For we will not live by sight, but we will live by faith. So, believe what God has said. Believe what God has have, have spoken. Believe the spoken word of the Lord. And live by his faith and live by it. Bible says, how can they believe themselves they be a preacher? So, when a preacher brings the word of God to you, believe the word of God. I'm telling you that the year has been crowned with what? With bounty already. So, but you need to key in into this, into this. It's, 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 it's like it's a circuit. You need to plug into the flow. There is a flow in a circuit. You need to plug in into that circuit so that you can be, so that you, you, you can be recipient. You can be, you can receive it. I go to verse one. Read for me for verse one. Uh-huh. Praise await you, O God in Zion. Praise await God in Zion. Why will praise await him in Zion? Why should praise await him? So because of things wonderful. Now, let's go for that to see. So praise await him. Why should praise await him? Uh-huh. Continue. So you are vowed to be fulfilled. Uh-huh. So vow was fulfilled. Oh, 
all you who hear prayer. So, so praise are, must be given to God and vows were fulfilled. You have given, you made a vow to give your life to Jesus. Then live your life for Jesus. Don't live for, don't live for Satan and for the world. Amen. You have made a vow to what? To praise God, to give God praise. You have made a vow to live your life to, to Jesus, for Jesus. Then live it for Him, not for Him and for sin, and for sin, not for Him and for the devil and for the world. You must not be worldly. You must not be sinful. Amen. You must keep your vow. You see, Jesus, as I, I give my life to you. Is that not what you say? So you must keep to your vow. Amen. You must what? Keep to your vow. And then as you keep to your vow, what do you do? You continue to praise him. Continue to keep to your vow. Continue to praise him. Eh? Why should you do that? Eh? Oh, you who hear prayer. So one, one of the reasons why you need to keep your vow. Why you need to what? To continue to dedicate yourself to praises and keeping your vow is what? It's because Jehovah does what? He hears prayer. We say number one, because he what? He has crowned your year with bounty. Abi? Number two, why you need to dedicate yourself to praises and what? And keeping your vow. Amen. Not, not breaking the vow of your Nazareth. The vow of your being born again, being a child of God. Why you need to do that is number two is because of what? Because he answers prayer. If you continue to dedicate yourself to praise and keep your vow, then heavens are open already up over you. Your year is crowned with reward, with bounty. Then your answers to prayer are secured. Eh? Go on. So you all men will come. Mm -hmm. When we are overwhelmed by sin, you forgive our transgressions. Number three, why must you praise the Lord? Why must you keep your vow? Because the Lord forgave your word. He forgave your transgression. Will it not be on, on will it not be on, on will it not be evil, gross evil? After God forgave your transgression, He crowned your year with bounty. After God answered your prayer and you were and you were able to cross over into the new year. And here you are in the new year. Then you now turn back on God. You stop praising Jehovah. You stop keeping your vow of living a life of holiness and righteousness before the Lord. Is that not? Have you not? Are you not a, a, a? Are you not a rogue star? You are a criminal. Amen. You should be. You should be arrested and be in prison. But God will give you long rope so that you can know you not go to hell. Eh? Uh -huh. Go to have son. Uh -huh. Go to. Blessed are those you choose and bring near to live in your court. Hmm. We are filled with the good things of your house of no, your holy temple. Number four, we are what? Filled with the good things of your house. And we have to praise temple. God. We have to keep our vow because we are what? We are filled with what? One day we are filled with what? The good things. Yeah, stand up. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Yeah. Everybody stand up, 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 up. We are filled with what? The good things of your house. Why should you praise God? Because we are filled with Why must you dedicate yourself to a life of praises and keeping your vow? Why? Because the Lord has what? Has what? Because the Lord has filled you with good things. I would say, for you, not with all good things for them. Amen. That's seven. You need to praise him. You, that is why you know you cannot afford to live your life like any other person on the street. Your life must be to him. Amen. You must live for him. You must live as what? As the ambassadors of Christ on earth. Your life must not be lived carelessly. You must keep your vow of a life dedicated to him. And you must continue to dedicate yourself to praising the Lord every day. Not praising man. Not praising, not praising, uh, not praising the devil. If you want to sing, you, 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 how can you be a child of God and then you are singing a uh, worldly music? Praising the devil. Praising non uh, evil spirit. You are supposed to be praising, you are praising the Lord. Uh, hurry down. How many points have I mentioned? Number one, we say what? Number one, we have to what? He has filled our year, crown our year with what? With bounty. Number two, we say he has what? He has prayer. He, has, he hears prayer. Number three, we say what? Forgive our transgression. Number four, we say what? Yeah, he fills us with good things. Yeah, go for that. You answer us with awesome deeds of righteousness. Of course, now answer us to prayer. We have seen that. Yeah. The hope of all the ends of the earth. Mm -hmm. The father see. Mm -hmm. Who formed the mountains by your power, mm -hmm. having armed yourself with strength? Mm -hmm. Who still the roaring of the seas, mm -hmm. the roaring of the waves, and the turmoil of the nations? Mm -hmm. Those living far away fear your wonders. Mm -hmm. Where morning dawns and evening fades, you call forth songs of joy. Mm -hmm. You 
care for the land and water it. He, yeah. he even God even care for the land. Why do he, he also call for songs? We didn't have that one. He calls for songs of joy, Abby. Yes. Give the Lord. We have to praise God because He's the one that gives us songs of joy. He also even the land we are living. God who does what? What does he do the land? He waters the land. Uh -huh. Continue. He enriched the land. The streams of God are filled with water mm -hmm. to provide the people with grace. Are you remember? For so you have ordained it. Are you remember? So we must praise God. That is number six point. The lands are, are greatly watered. He provides us with water, with grains to feed us. Why would we not praise such a God? Uh -huh. Read on. Which verse are you? Okay, uh -huh. You drench its furrows and level its ridges. Mm -hmm. You soften it with showers and bless its crops. Mm -hmm. You crown the year with your bounty and your cat overflows with abundance. Mm -hmm. The grassland of the desert overflow. Mm -hmm. The hills are clothed with gladness. Mm -hmm. The meadows are covered with flocks. Mm -hmm. And the valleys are mantled with grain. Mm -hmm. They shout for joy and sing. Amen. Amen. So let's keep on. You know, looking at these six or seven things, there are several things. I mean, you look at it very well. It means several reasons why you need to work. You need to continue to work, to work, to praise God and what, and continue to keep your vow unto the Lord. You know, your vow need to be kept. You need to keep your vow. You have vowed to, to, to give Him your life, to live for Him. Then live for Him. Keep your vow. Live a life dedicated to praises. Amen. Amen. Because he's a faithful God. There is nothing God, good God can withhold. Even, even grain, he makes a lot. He's the one that makes this earth to work. And that is why when you read the story of Amolonga, the river of Amolonga, that Amolonga, God visited Amolonga, and then their land became super rich. The, the visitation of God upon their land affected their, their land. Amolonga land begin to yield more than any other land in America because God visited them. But then God bless the land also. He blesses even the land such that when you plant, the crop will yield boom, 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 boom. bountiful harvest because the Lord crowned the year with what? With bounty. He gives the rain. He gives us joy. Amen. So there is nothing God cannot do. I love that song. There is nothing you cannot do. So there's nothing he cannot do. He does more than we think he can do. He does it more than we think. The Bible says he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, more than we can think or we can imagine. I did ask you, this should ask to sit down and not in a stand up, not you. Because they were dozing. Some of them were dozing. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Lord is on our side. So let's 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 be dedicated to our vow, our vow of a Nazarite. Amen. You know we are the Nazarite for Jesus. The Bible says Nazarite too. He took a vow of Nazarite. He said, "Raise your blade, not enter the hair. They will not drink strong drink. They will not do this one. They have to keep to it." Some people say, "Eh, hey, hey, there's liberty in Christ, but that liberty is a liberty that is under a confine. You are a Nazarite for God's sake. You can't live like any other person." You are under. You are a man under under vow. A, a, a born again child of God is what is a man or man under what under vow. You can't live like another person. You should understand that. You are you are what you are living under vow. Amen. And that vow is what is a vow with the spirit of Jehovah. And you must allow Him to lead you. And when He leads you, there are many things you cannot do. When he leads you, you cannot fornicate, you cannot commit adultery, you cannot watch pornography, you cannot watch uh, worldly music, you cannot watch uh, watch worldly um, uh, worldly movies. You there are things you the only go say no 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 you can't. He will be instructing you because you are under vow. You must keep to your vow. You can break your vow. 
And that is it. And that is what some people don't understand. The liberty, you, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, when, when, when you give your life to Jesus Christ, you have become a slave of righteousness. There is no freedom anywhere. Amen. The freedom, you are, you are actually free from sin and the devil. But you are now what? You are now what? You are now a slave to righteousness and to the spirit of God. So you come under control. Now look at the difference. When you were in the world, you were controlled by evil spirit. But when you are in Christ, you are controlled by the Holy Spirit. You are now a slave to righteousness. No longer a slave to sin. I love that song. I am no longer, I'm no longer a slave to sin. I am a child. Of God, you are now a child of God. You are no longer a slave to sin again. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I will bless your name this morning. Amen. Lord, we ask you to help us in order to you know to live a life dedicated to praise and to keep our vow, our vow to 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 our vow to give our life to you, that you become our Lord and become our Savior. Lord, that you be the Lord of our life. You be the one that will direct the, our lives, not us again. Your spirit will control us. Thank you, Father. Lord, help us, O oh God. Lord, help us, O oh God. To continue to trust you, to continue to hope in you, to continue to, you know, you know, follow your direction. Lord, as we do so, Lord, may you continue to, you know, crown our year with good things. Grant us good things. Crown our year with bounty. And uh, see your mercy more and more as you keep forgiving us our sins. Your mercy continue to abound to us. Our prayer continue to receive answers from you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, that whenever you call, you answer us. Yes. Thank you, Jehovah Rapha. Thank you, Blessed be your name, Lord. Even before we call, you have answered. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Yes. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to remind you this morning uh, that at the Feast of Rapture is just a nine days time to come. The day is drawing closer. If you are coming, please. Do notify us that you are coming by sending a chat to us on the number on the screen. We bid you, we urge you to attend. It's a meeting that will that will leave an eternal, you know, impact that will internally impact your life. We know what the Lord will do in this meeting. It's going to be an excellent meeting. There's free feeding, free accommodation. It's at the Bethel Camp, Lagos Ibadan Expressway, the sixth to 9th of February, twenty twenty four. It's just by the corner. We urge you to attend. And then uh, if you are far away from the country, we are going to be sharing, uh, you know, the link. There will be, uh, maybe it will be on YouTube, live stream on the Global Christian Update YouTube channel. On YouTube channel, it will be live stream there. And then it will also, possibly it's going to be on Zoom. The meeting will also be transmitted on Zoom. So that we can hook up. The Lord bless you. If God is leading you to support, the account days are on the screen. You can support this heavenly pro heavenly vision. And great shall be your reward in heaven in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you richly. I remain your brother Moses or George and Migo Special National Restoration Program. The Lord bless you as you like, as you share, as you subscribe. The Lord will honor you. He shall be well with you. The Lord shall crown your year with bounty. And no good thing shall be withhold from you this year. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Cover says with a